If you have clicked on this video, then your home loan EMIs might have increased. In my case, my bank increased the tenure of my loan by eight long years. The other option I have is to increase my EMI from 51,000 to 59,000. In this video, let us find out what are the options we have and which is the best one. In this fiscal year, RBI has raised the repo rate multiple times to combat inflation. What is repo rate? Just like you take loans from your bank, the banks in turn take loans from RBI and the interest rate charged by RBI is called repo rate. This means that the banks have had to pay more interest to RBI and to mitigate that, the bank started charging higher interest rate on your home loan too. Now, what can you do about this? Your first option is maintain the same tenure by increasing your EMI. Suppose you took a home loan for an amount of 60 lakh rupees two years back. The tenure of the loan was 20 years and that time the interest rate was 6.7% which now is 8.95%. Your new EMI will be almost 53,000 rupees. This is almost 8 to 9,000 more than your previous EMI. But in this case, you'll have to pay out around 16 lakh rupees as extra interest payout. Why is that? Because your interest rate has increased by almost 2.25%. As you saw in the last video that I have purchased a house myself, I also opted for this option of increasing my EMI. And in my opinion, this is the best option you can opt for. Now, the second option is that you make a bulk prepayment. This way, your tenure and EMI will remain the same. To maintain the same tenure and EMI of roughly 45,000 rupees, that was your original EMI, you will have to make a prepayment of almost 8.25 lakh rupees. Whenever you make a prepayment, that entire sum of money goes towards the principal repayment of the loan. Also, if your loan is at a later stage of repayment or the loan amount is less, this might be the best solution for you. Why? Because in both these cases, the prepayment which you will have to make will be much smaller. And the third option, which is by default, that your bank will increase the tenure of the loan. In case you're not financially strong enough to bear the burden of increased EMI or make a prepayment, you can go with this option. But we will not suggest to go ahead with this option if you can make some prepayment or you can increase your EMI. Why? Because under this option, you will end up losing the most amount of interest cost. The final solution which you can opt for is change your bank. Most banks have a balance transfer option by which you can change your loan to a new bank. So if you find a bank which is offering lower interest rate, you can opt for this option. But there are some formalities which need to be completed for this option to work. Firstly, understand that even if you end up transferring your loan to a new bank, your EMI will essentially be more than your original EMI. For example, if you end up doing the balance transfer to a bank which is offering 8.4% vis-a-vis 8.95%, then the EMI you would have to pay is around 51,000 rupees, which still is more than the original EMI of 45,000, which you were paying when the interest rate was only 6.7%. But you are still saving almost 4.2 lakh rupees. Why? Because the new interest rate is 8.4% vis-a-vis 8.95% which the old bank was offering. Balance transfer will also come with a processing fee of 0.25% to 1% which you will have to pay to the new bank when you opt for this option. Considering this, I would suggest that you go for this option only when the new bank is offering at least 0.5% lesser interest rate than your existing bank. Otherwise, it will not make a difference. In the description below, we have linked a PDF which contains all the details related to the steps involved for balance transfer of loan. One more thing that you can do is you can check your Sybil score. In case it has increased a lot from the time you took the loan, you can negotiate the bank and ask them to reassess the interest rate they are charging. But this on its own won't reduce the interest rate drastically. At max, it will reduce around 0.2 to 0.3%, but this can be done along with other measures. The repo rate might increase or decrease as and when RBI deems fit. And it will also result in changes in your EMI or tenure. And the only way I can think of ensuring that I lose minimum interest cost is by maintaining the same tenure and increasing the EMI and also 
prepaying at regular intervals so i took loan somewhere way back in uh, 2011 12 that point of time i kept a certain amount a small portion of amount say 3000 or 5000 rupees in an sip which i kept for 4 or 5 years earned a good return out of the sip i liquidated that sip which was around 5 to 6 lakhs rupees and uh, paid off my housing loan so uh, sbi allows you to do that you can prepay any amount without any prepayment penalty as low as 1000 to 5000 or 10000 so that reduces your interest substantially over a period of time i hope this video gives you a better idea of how you can manage your home loan in the current situation also if you are planning to buy a new house and you are confused that you should buy a ready to move in house or an under construction house please watch this video